In this video, I shall be showing some easy EG1 algorithms. The first case is this Pi, which is, uh, I think, the shortest EG1. Uh, I think it's six moves, and um, the quickest and easiest, in my opinion. It's also the first one I learned. So, it starts with R prime F R2, hang on. R prime F R2 U prime R2 F R. So, it's uh, regroupedless as well, and as you can see, very quick. Because you don't need to regrip. The next case I'll show is this easy H algorithm. So, this is made up of three simple triggers, the first of which is R U R prime F prime, and then it's sexy move R U R prime. So, as you can see, that's very easy to learn. It's, of course, three very simple triggers. Now, interestingly about this algorithm, if you do the inverse of it, you get you solve another pi case. Which, yeah, so R U R prime U prime R U R prime and then F R U prime R. I don't know if I called that right, but that's the way you can remember that one with the, that one's triggers. So by learning that algorithm you learn a second pi case and an H case, which is both easy to learn and quick. So this is made up of three simple triggers. The next yeah. The next case I'll show is the soon case. Now I use the mirror for this to solve the anti soon. But it's not actually that much slower. Now it starts off with the now it starts off with this trigger, which uh, I'll have written down below. And as you can see, when you finish with this trigger, you end up with a corner front here. So you can just go, uh, I think it's hedge or sledge, whatever it is, to solve it. And uh, it's actually, you don't need to regrip. Now here's the mirror. That was performed quickly, but yeah. So this time I'll perform it slowly. Once more. And, uh, so yeah. Now, one thing about these cases is once you perform the first trigger, you can see the corner ends up here. Now, how we entered them in this time was we did like, like that. But, you could notice that you could solve it like that. Not quite as nice, but um, it's still another case that is fairly easy to learn, since all you need to remember is that trigger and how you insert the corner. Now what case does it solve? Well, it solves this U case. Now the way you... either of these U cases, so yeah. The way you know which one to use is you can see that these two pieces are the same, so you perform that trigger, which uh, starts with the R prime, just rotate and you solve it, or you could just go F prime U F if you wanted. It's not quite as nice, but it's easy to learn. Here's the next case, it's a T case. This one's quite simple, just R U R2 X. That's the first trigger, and then it's a U prime, and then it's just the sexy move R. So as you can see, that's quite simple to learn. So it's just R U R prime, and then X U prime, sexy move, followed by an R. So See, that one's not that difficult either. Another new case is this case. As you can see this time, the block's on the right, so you're swapping these on the left. So the way that I do this algorithm is R prime U2, R prime U2, and then R prime U prime R. So as you can see, that last move after the R prime U2, R prime U2 is just an R prime to link it up like that, and then you just do a U prime, so that when you do an R2, the white, it will solve the white and yellow face, and then you have an AU at the end, potentially. But this whole case is just inverse, like, sexy move, and then, like, um, Inverse six move minus that last U turn again, and instead you do R prime, 
So you have an R2 in there, and this is U prime. Once you do a rotation like that, so like that at the end. Yeah.